Today we're gonna do a bookish Snapchat q and I asked you guys to send in your Snapchats. We've got a list here. I'm excited to see what's in here. Yeah. It's when you do a Twitter Q&A. You can like pre-select questions and yeah, you can't this really is hear. Fun. Also, Jean is not that into Snapchat yet, so this yeah, is, uh, this is my like, attempt to get yeah, into it. It's like a tutorial. Hello, I have two questions. First, what's your favorite poetry book? And second, mm. what's your favorite graphic novel? Oh, good question. Very good questions. <laughs> favorite poetry book. I used to love children's poetry as a kid, so I'm, but I'm going to ignore that. Favorite adults poetry book? Hold Your Own by Kate Tempest. But she's like like a beat like performance poet, so oh, cool. YouTube, like search her on YouTube because obviously it's so much better when you see yeah. her perform it. It's like really poetic rap. I had to read from like those big collected yeah, Norwegian anthology. anthologies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I haven't really read. Favorite poet or someone? Maybe. So I really like Tennyson. Mm -hmm. Actually, I have a little like old school like book mm -hmm. that has all the Tennyson poetry in it. Um, and then the other one's favorite graphic novel. I do really like Persepolis. Okay. Marjane Satrapi. I love the Encyclopedia of Earlier. Yeah, I didn't want to say that because I know you love it. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it is by a good Isabel one. Greenberg. Yeah. Really good. That was Nani Gray, by the way. Now one from Charlotte Dan. Hey girls, Charity here. Uh, oh. I want to know what's the worst what book each of you have read to completion? Like right, two hours ago, you asked those questions. So, yeah, I probably missed the boat on that one. I uh, hope, hope you had a good video <laughs> shoot, though. Yay, you didn't miss it. it. I'm definitely a not finisher. Oh yeah, me too. Like I'm like stop reading a book. <laughs> no. yeah. I think Death of a Salesman because I had to finish it oh, for well, school. Oh me too. How bad is it? Hey, Death of a Salesman. That I just took a picture of my face. <laughs> I'm so good at Snapchat. It's such a good tutorial. Okay, here we go. Hi. I wanted to ask you what's your favorite book cover ever. Mine is this one. Oh, it's. I can't Bye. tell what that is. I think I've seen it before though. It was a mirrored image, so it couldn't yeah. be the title. <laughs> Angela Carter's Book of Fairy Tales. Like, obviously, oh, I can't show fairy you. Tales. Oh, but this thing is like stunning. Put a link in the description. Okay. To it. Yeah. It's it's like it's just like the most like. But then fairy tale books usually are beautiful mm -hmm. because they're like all like magical and like. Blah, blah, blah. It's stunning, and I don't think it even comes in paperback. It's just the most gorgeous hardback ever. These are the beautiful vintage editions yes, of the Jane Austen books. It's really simple. I just like a simple pattern. Yeah. Also really nice finish. And then, so what is on the outside of this one is on the inside of this one. Yeah. Just absolutely gorgeous. They are so those are some of my favorite ones. The next one is from Carly Skyom. Do you guys listen to music while you read? And if so, what are you listening to right now? Good question. Do you listen to music? Sometimes, but I can't listen to music with words. Really? Yeah, I get like, not if I'm writing or reading or, uh, to be honest, like, I'm not a massive music person in the first place, but if I do decide, like, oh, I just want some, like, something going in the background, I'll usually listen to the Hobbit soundtrack or okay. a bit of Debussy. She's just going for the classic I music. Know. I really <laughs> like, this is really dumb, there's um this game called Monument Valley, mm -hmm. it's like an iPhone game, it's like based on the Escher sketches, like it has a soundtrack, it's really sort of plonky, futuristic uh -huh. but also has like nature noises in it. Oh, cool. So I listen to that sometimes. How I Live Now has an amazing score. The um, film oh, with Saoirse Ronan. And then I have a Spotify playlist that's called Reading, but I will post my, like all the, the recommendations we talked yeah. about in the, in the description. Okay, next one is by Sophia Sue. Hi, greetings from the Philippines. And Ooh, yeah. My question is, if you were an author, who would it be and why? We were an author who to be and why. I think maybe like personality or writing, mm. writing wise. I like really like messed up dark stuff. Mm -hmm. Mary Shelley maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking like oh maybe like Jane Austen. Yeah. I'm like I don't think I'd be good at picking up all the like interpersonal yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I don't want to pick anyone that's alive because that'd be awkward. Mary Shelley's dead right? She's not, she's Pretty not dead. just like hundreds Pretty of years dead, old. I think. <laughs> I don't want to be one of the Bronte sisters because they, I mean, they're all right, but they weren't having the best of times. Like, I couldn't be Sarah Scott and though because I don't think I could come up with like mysteries and like little clues and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think I could do that. You know, when you like want to say something, you're like, but it's not because I think like, I'm as good as them. Right. But, like, maybe it could be like Margaret Atwood or someone. Like, I feel like I would write like kind of books. Like That's hers. the sort of stuff you yeah, do, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm going to go for John Wyndham. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I could definitely be like Christopher Perlini. Like, just sit and like create like oh, a yeah. ridiculous fantasy world. Like, that's I always wanted to do as a kid. Hi, so my question for the Q and A is, what was your favourite book you read for school? Ooh, I know what this one is. Sunset Song by Lewis Grassic Gibbon. It's a Scottish classic. It's like it's set over like quite a few mm -hmm. years. The First World War happens during it, and it's basically just about this girl, Chris Guthrie, and it's about her growing up in like the farmlands in Scotland and deciding whether she wants to stay and be a farmer or move to the city. Her like growing as a woman and like finding Aww. herself and stuff, but like set lots of time ago, and it's just beautifully written. And what course did you have to read it for? Just for English. It's like if you like Jane Austen and stuff, you would like it, mm -hmm. but it's set in Scotland. For me, I think it was 
was probably Dave the Triffids, mostly because mm. I'd never heard of John Wyndham before, and I took this apocalyptic course during my master's, mm. and that was on the list, and I sort of just started it, yeah. literally not knowing anything about it, yeah. and I read the first page, and I was like, yeah. Okay, and saying that, if we're talking about uni as well, then Longus is Daphnis and Chloe. Because I had to read that for an ancient novel class and like it's ch it changed my life. Actually, you know what book I read for Dutch class when uh -huh. I was like 13 or 14? We'd have two hours in the week where mm -hmm. we just had to sit and read. Okay. And they like brought in a little cart. Okay. And we'd like pick a book from the cart. And I picked holes. Oh, really? But I read it in Dutch. And oh, I was like, cool. this is really I've good. never read holes. I've seen the film. But I've never read it. So the last person who to send in the question, Anna Amazing, just also sent a text after saying, Oh god, no, there's no sound. There was sound, don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> okay, the questions. I think that's it. That Thank fun. you so much for sending in the Snapchat questions. Yeah. I really enjoy these Snapchat QA. Yeah. So I'm Books and Quills on Snapchat. What's your Snapchat? Oh, uh, I, let me check. Jean ZM. Jean ZM. So go check out Jean's channel at Bookish Thoughts. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> and we'll talk to you guys later. Doi! Doi!